Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So I'm going to do your weekend love reading. This is going to, going to be for the weekend um, beginning June 9th through the 12th. Okay, so this is going to be for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, please do hit like and subscribe on the channel. We'd greatly appreciate that. Okay, Virgo. And also, don't forget, there's a link below if you would like to peruse some of my uploaded videos on my Gumroad account. Um, if you are a Virgo in a relationship with one of the zodiac signs, there is a timeless love reading up there for you. So go ahead and check that out. Very inexpensive. And if I need to do an extended reading for this weekend, I will let you know as we go through the reading. Okay, please forgive me if I sneeze. It's just the pollen. It's been so high. Okay, let's take a look here, Virgo. When I first started shuffling the cards, I saw the co coffee cup card. So um, something here was telling me that there might be a meeting over coffee over the weekend. You might be connecting with someone. Uh, it could be somebody new. <clears throat> We're not going to get into the new and the old, but it just feels like an energy of um, having coffee over the weekend with someone. Maybe it's a date or a coffee date um, or just a meeting of some sorts, or maybe you're just going somewhere over the weekend by yourself, um, checking out a new coffee shop, that kind of energy. All right, so let's see. Okay, you have clock, need time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal, and progress. Okay, so this is all about the timing. Something's going on here. Um, taking some time to yourself over the weekend, perhaps. Um, biological clock ticking, going through your cycle, taking time to heal, making progress, keeping up with time, doing very well perhaps in some of those areas. Let's see what's going on. Divine timing, they're just seeing also. Oh, and you also have boat. So this is receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Maybe you're having coffee on a boat over the weekend or somebody has a boat, okay? But this is setting your sails, okay? It's interesting, clock and boat. Hmm, somebody might have a boat clock. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> twin flames, that just popped right out. Okay, so yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality. So there's a complementing each other's twin flame connection here, but there's also the golden mirror with this is like a self, self absorbed narcissist or one sided relationship or some love bombing. <clears throat> I love when the narc shows up in your readings, Virgo. I know it's your favorite thing. I know it. And there's always popping or rearing their ugly head somewhere in your readings, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. So for some of you, I mean, is this person you thought was your twin flame a narcissist? Or is this narcissist not really a narcissist and they are your twin flame? We're going to leave that to, to the side here because I am going to dig a little deeper into that. But for now, we're just going to just leave that alone. I know you can't see the cards that well. I'll try to make it a little bit brighter for you. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, it's not that good. Okay. So let's see. Show me what this energy is. So I, I just keep getting this coffee cup and it's not even here, but let's see. Okay, well, there's definitely an energy of healing here with the star. This is Aquarius energy. Um, hmm. So, you know what? Something for some of you started in the month of January, between January and February, you started a healing journey. You were doing something or something happened. You got a sense of renewal and hope back in your life. <clears throat> Just a side message here, but let me see. Okay, so there's definitely an opportunity coming to you this weekend. Okay, I can feel this. Um, you might get an offer or you're asked 
something to do with going on the water is what I feel like a, a water I don't know if it's a water trip or maybe it's a boat <laughs> it's something to do with being on the water here uh, being on the water or being near the water this weekend taking some time you know when we talk about cycles it feels like the moon cycle which has an effect on the tides and the water and our moods. This feels like a golden opportunity that's coming in here for you um, to, to do. Gosh, they gave me that old song. Okay. It, it's like a sail. It, it, I think it's sail away. To take me away to a place I've always heard it could be or a place I've always wanted to be. This is what I'm picking up here arriving somewhere or moving somewhere getting some closure okay this feels like it's something but this feels like it's about you this weekend virgo like it's all about virgo okay got the magician so now we have gemini or mercury energy so this is about creating something creating an opportunity Creating something new for yourself. Is this something that's out of the norm for you? It's not something that you would generally do or you would generally ha like connect with a person, place, or a thing. Some of you might have like a fear of being on the water or uh, swimming or going into the water. This feels kind of like an out of, out of your comfort zone or fear of being on a boat. Maybe there's somebody gets seasick or um, it's it's almost like make this happen. I'm hearing make this situation happen or go to this place or find this place that's near the water. That's where your replenishment and your healing is going to happen. Like the opportunity. Look at that. You might get an invitation as well. Page of Cups. All this water here. Overwhelming an overwhelming tidal wave of emotion feels like a very healing energy it feels like a new opportunity that's going to come over the weekend and it, it's it's not going to be something where you, somebody or it's going to have time to think about it okay you might need time to think about it you might not be sure this is something that you want to do or go on some trip or do something but i feel like they're asking you to just manifest this to make this happen because this is where you're going to get some closure and and you know what from there this twin flame narcissist thing it's connected to this i feel like some of you thought that somebody was your twin flame and you're beginning now to question if this person actually just might have been a narcissist and made you they reflected back to you who you were and they made you fall in love with them but by reflecting back to you yourself it's in essence falling in love with yourself and a lot of you maybe thought that you were the narcissist but no you weren't this is just kind of a tactic so some of you okay because i feel like with someone and i don't know how far back this was someone from your past or recent or today <clears throat> there was there was a yin yang energy with this there was a balance there was a coupling okay there was somebody came in as a false twin flame right the golden mirror holding that mirror up to you making you fall in love with them but really they were making you fall in love with yourself so it was kind of a trick it was a you know it was like a trick that might be what that healing is with this magician energy here that might have something to do with it kind of coming to terms and realizing that um this page of cups here you need to forgive yourself or you know you don't need to forgive this person that's up to you but yeah this is somebody here who is showing up like just one-sided and i feel like now you're on this i, I don't know something about like Maybe you had plans or, you know, the clock is ticking. You need to go do something or get away with by yourself or with some friends. 
or bring your children or a child go somewhere where there's innocence and healing and freedom um, and relaxation to get some kind of closure i don't feel like there's um like this narcissist person coming in to try to love bomb you i don't feel like i feel like a lot of you are like no i've had enough of that i know what this person is this feels like the final straw for you like the last step here what you're doing over this weekend you're facing some fears you're, you're definitely facing some fears. Um, some of you became very isolated and you're getting yourselves out. Look at that, you've got the Ace of Cups. There might even be a love opportunity because I know a lot of you are just 100% ready for a new love. There's blessings coming over this weekend here. And this is gonna happen immediately with this Ace of Cups. And it's going to happen to you. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is where the healing is going to come. The blessings. This energy, this past energy, some of you coming to terms with, you were connected with someone who was, you thought, or maybe you're still not sure, um, but you thought. Because, you know, twin can also be mirroring, right? Twins look the same. They reflect back to each other. But something was a little off. This feels more like it was a karmic twin. It was a false twin. It wasn't your true twin. Maybe it was more or less a doppelganger. Um, but which, of course, that's just in the way people look. But I feel like somebody here was kind of reflecting or mimicking or love bombing. This person had no identity. They had nothing going on with inside of them. They had no identity. They were just like copying, reflecting back um, to other people, their own personalities. Not, it's, it's crazy. It's just like copycat. It's a copycat. Um, whatever you were doing, this person was doing. Or whatever you said, this person was saying. However, they were treating um, you was because of the way you were treating them. Weird behavior mimicking I think I don't know if, if some of you are you know there's a fine line because there's sometimes that happens in healthy relationships you know sometimes it, we wind up like getting the behavior virus and picking things up from other people but these are little things <clears throat> these don't change our entire core and our personality um, I feel like when this person when you met this false twin um they probably weren't saying all that much you were probably trying to gain information from you um like reading a script to try to um figure out who you were and try to get themselves in a position where they could mimic back to you that behavior and and make you fall in love with them but you were really just falling in love with yourself <clears throat> very strange behavior so you might meet somebody that has children over the weekend. It could be a love relationship. It could be a friend. Um, you might meet them in, when you're out shopping or paying for something. Okay, yeah. You're on vacation. Or you're taking a little hiatus over the weekend. You know, unplugging the phone. <clears throat> not being on the um, computer. Not working. Just dipping out. I feel like you might meet somebody, they might be paying for something with children. There's a conversation that strikes up with someone. Hmm, that's so strange. Either this person's name is Dylan or I feel like this person's name is Dylan. Or it starts with a D. Maybe there's it's Lynn. Might be Lynn or Linda or Dylan or Dylan, something like that. Interesting. Um, there's definitely like a new love start happening here, and it's gonna happen pretty fast. Let me 
say yeah there's conversation wow yeah you're gonna meet this person if you make plans to travel so some of you might not actually be traveling this weekend but this weekend you might be making plans to travel maybe for another time and some of this energy is playing out but when you actually go on this trip i feel like um i feel like you're gonna go on this trip and um connect with someone and kind of like bump into them by accident is what I feel. Sounds like a one of those romance novels, but that's what I feel. And you know what? Guess what, Virgo? This person is going to be, uh, I feel like you're going to connect with a Taurus or someone that's got Taurus placements. Now, I know some of you are like, that my, the Taurus is my ex. This is somebody new because the Ace of Cups is here. This is not your past Taurus. Okay. Oh, yeah. De a whole lot of travel energy. Um, Virgo, I feel like when you're around this person, you're going to, like, get really awkward and feel kind of, like, stumble. You might trip over something or... That might actually be how this person... I'm, I'm seeing it, actually either you trip over something or the door hits you or does something and then this that's how this person takes notice of you <laughs> or um you somehow start talking to them or they start talking to you or you just have some nonchalant chit chat and then you trip over something <laughs> or they do it's some something triggers this connection something triggers some connection over the weekend and i love this because it just seems so innocent you know, and just so like not intended because it feels like your plans here is to just get some healing and away from some very negative energy and, you know, um, or just like the final straw or the, the, the final nail in the coffin is being put in in regards to this false twin flame or this abusive or terrible relationship that you are in. This is like the last, this is closure getting closure because you've had some closure issues perhaps on a mental like on a mental level okay so i like i like that there's going to be somebody now listen the ace of cups is here there's no romantic energy happening over this weekend but the ace of cups is here and this is like a gift this is like a blessing okay this person that you connect with um nothing romantic happens but but there's also this kind of like you may not even realize that this is going to be your person. This is going to be the love of your life, right? <laughs> I just keep hearing that name. Okay, so they're giving me, so for the, for the males, they're giving me the name Dylan, and now they're giving me James or Jim, okay? And I'm also getting Christopher. And for the females, um, Christine... Um, and then I'm still getting Jim. Is there a female's name with a Jim? Oh my gosh, they just said Gymnasia. Gymnasia. I don't know if that's a female's name. Gymnasia. Maybe it's Jen or Jennifer. Okay. Or Lynn or Day Lynn. Something like that. Okay. Just a couple of oh my goodness you have this could be the one all right you might know this person but have never talked to them before virgo yeah never have struck up a conversation with this person maybe you you know of them or you see them and they're like they look there's a familiarity okay oh my goodness no this is not going to be the narcissist <laughs> i don't feel like that Oh, yeah, there's chemistry. A strong magnetic attraction happens here. That's great energy. I love this. Yo, this weekend reading is so chill. I, I don't feel any stress with this reading. I don't generally feel stress with the readings, but I don't feel like even having that narcissist card there, this feels relaxing. This feels like oh, free at last, an opportunity to meet somebody new. There's going to be that feeling of man magnetic attraction. Um, 
if you don't already know them or know of them, you'll feel like you've known each other or you've met before. That might come up like, have we met? That kind of energy might come up. I love this. I love this. A very strong, especially physical attraction, lustful energy here between two people. So much so that it may make both of you feel a little awkward or just weird. <laughs> I'm giggling like I'm in high school here. Okay. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. There you go. This is this is a Taurus. You're meeting a Taurus over the weekend. Can you see that? Sorry if you can't. Yeah, you're meeting a Taurus over the weekend. Planet of Love. Venus. Beautiful. Okay. Look, another Venus, full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. I think things are gonna go really well for you over this weekend or the plans that you make over the weekend for some type of trip or something coming up. I just feel very like, a very positive energy. And here's the moon in Virgo. You are good enough, you're worth this. Okay, you are worth this. Whatever this situation is, whatever occurs, you don't have to be afraid. I feel like this, if the energy I'm getting is you doing this, taking this trip or whatever you're doing here, um, going for that final closure or just finally like releasing, believe it or not, I feel like when you meet this person or connect with them, this is going to be, whether it's this weekend or whenever it's going to be, this is going to be the final nail in the coffin on this past thing. Okay, because there's inspiration. You're finally going to start feeling like, you know, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I sound like an old lady. I'm dying over here. So this is the energy that you're going to be feeling really, really good. New moon and Gemini. So communication coming. You might even be starting communication with this person, with the uh, magician card. Or just actually some self-talk. Letting yourself... I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus just letting yourself know that you are worse you should strike up conversation i feel <laughs> give the first shout out say hi let me see what this person's sign might be their chinese sign okay could be a year of the monkey okay year of the horse the rooster tiger i'm gonna do one more and a rabbit okay beautiful energy i love it i feel like this is very sweet i don't feel like anything is too serious going on here let me give you some charms to see what the energy i'm not gonna pull dates or anything like that because i or even signs because i really feel like this is the taurus coming in they're just giving me that very strong now try to understand that taurus energy it doesn't have to be their sun sign Try not to focus too, too much on that. You'll recognize them by their um, slow and steady energy. Here's a horse. Okay, we did have a horse, didn't we? We had a year of the horse, okay? So for some of you, this person is definitely a um, horse. <clears throat> and here's a rocking horse. I love it. <laughs> yep. Okay, there might be children with them, like I said. And there's children in the area, children around. Okay, we have a spider web. Some of you might have seen this person on the internet. I don't feel like this is a 100% complete stranger. Or, it's, or you may, some of you might look this person up on the internet also, like after meeting them with this web, this spider's web here. Oh yeah. So they're just giving me seafoam green. Are they giving me, um, Something to do, these are all very beachy colors. So sun, sand, beach, you might be connecting with this person. I'm sure you probably cannot fully see that. But it's got some turquoise, it's got some blue, some tan, some white. So it feels like a very beachy uh, situation or somewhere, a resort. And then they're telling me Acapulco. I've never been, so I don't know. Okay. So we have sea stars. That's what I feel like is going on here. Or there might be a boat 
or star wing, they're saying. A star wing. I have a, quite a few pointed things going on here. Coral, Cape Coral, Cape Coral, or where there's coral, somewhere by the ocean. Um, the wing, there could be like, um, maybe you see, do seagulls leave, lose wings? I'm seeing wings from a beach bird. So I guess it would be like a seagull or one feather wing. Um, these are all kind of qualifiers that you will know. Somebody might have horses also, um, or maybe there's like riding horses on a beach. Some of you might decide I'm not doing the boat thing, but I'll ride the horse <laughs> on a beach. Okay. Um, I just love this reading. I think it's very simple and it's very sweet and it's not too heavy. And I feel like, like I said, if you are not actually going somewhere this weekend, maybe you're going to do it next weekend or maybe in the end of the month or sometime in the summer and you're just making the plans now if you're hesitant you're not sure about making these plans just make them make the plans and then you can decide later if you're going to go or not if you're kind of on the fence but make the plans anyway um but don't don't hesitate virgo follow through because i do feel like you get out there and you do something um, even if you're just on a beach by yourself riding a horse or just going on a boat um, on a lake somewhere, um, there's going to be somebody there that you're going to bump into. So, you know, if you're completely single and there isn't anybody else in your life right now and you're trying to heal, and get out of a past relationship, um, this seems like the way to go. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to leave your reading there for the weekend. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys if you're a member of my channel and you want to purchase the $9.99 a month. I'm actually going to start making some changes to that. Um, so keep your eel, your eels peered. <laughs> keep your ears and eyes peeled as I make some changes to that. And also don't forget to go over. I don't think we need to um, extend it on this. Um, You know what? I am going to do an extended because I want to dive into this false twin flame for you. Okay. So the link will be below here, this video. So go check that out. Yeah. I, at first I wasn't going to, because I felt like the whole thing looks good, but this false twin flame here, I feel like there's a couple of things that you need to know about this. So I'll go into the extended and we'll take a look at look a little bit more. Oh, and see what's going on. That's your um, that's your sign to get the extended. That's your chiching. All right, you guys. So if I don't uh, see you over the weekend, have a great weekend, and I will speak to you very soon. Take care.